all those harmful rays from the sun. But wait a minute, what about the sunscreen? You're using sunscreen, right? But could it be doing more harm than good? Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Mabry, a chiropractor who teaches healthy living at Straight Chiropractic in Rio Rancho, New Mexico. And I am Dr. Brad Fackrell, also a chiropractor and founder of Straight Chiropractic. Daily, I try to share with my patients healthier ways to live their lives through chiropractic, eating well, and changing their health paradigm to prevention rather than treating just a symptom. I encourage our patients to stay away from harmful chemicals, and this is why I am compelled to share with you what I've learned about sunscreen. I'm sure you've heard a lot about sunscreen lately. Uh, it's in the news. Uh, it's talked about uh, at your pool. It's mandated by your kid's daycare provider. Uh, but did you know, do you know really what kind of toxic chemicals that you're putting on yourself and your child's skin? I agree with the FDA's recent decision to force more restrictions on sunscreen marketing and evaluate the safety of such sunscreens. However, did you know that in a 2009 statement, even the National Cancer Institute advised it does not know if wearing sunscreen decreases your risk of skin cancer? I am angered and frustrated that the side effects from traditional sunscreens are never discussed. Did you know that some heavily marketed sunscreens contain estrogen and free radical inducing chemicals? These toxins can cause a myriad of problems including lowered sperm counts, endometriosis, and their traces are even found in breast milk. Exposure to these toxins may actually increase your risk of cancer. Why risk it? Sunscreen can be absorbed into the bloodstream through the skin. Uh, and even Dr. Lindstrom with the Food and Drug Administration admits that they don't know if aerosol sunscreens are safe. Uh, yet the children, you know, at our nearby pool spray it every day. Uh, and, you know, it allows those toxins to fill up the lungs of all those toddlers. Uh, you know, back in 1992, uh, the American Journal of Public Health published a report that indicated that the increased use of chemical sunscreens is the primary cause of the skin cancer epidemic. I promote healthy living and alternatives to the over-marketed, for-profit products you find everywhere you turn. So what's the alternative to sunscreen? Our ancestors were in the sun all day. Our bodies need direct sunlight to produce vitamin D. All plants and animals depend on sunlight for food, growth, and life, and we are no exception. There are alternatives to sunscreen to help prevent burning. I encourage you to explore these alternatives. I welcome you to find out more at a free class that is open to the public on Tuesday, January 21st at 6 p.m. Come discover the real facts about sunscreen and what it does to our bodies. Learn what the worst types of sunscreen you can buy are and what your alternatives are. Uh, child care will be provided at no cost. Uh, call to reserve your spot today. Uh, our phone number is 505-507-WELL. Uh, or that's 505-507-9355 or you could also email us directly at theshadytruth at gmail.com Again, that's Tuesday, June 21st at 6 p.m. We look forward to meeting you.